and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer's Legacy, our last meme tier deck today. This one's pretty crazy, so we're going to be playing a deck built around Heimerdinger, protecting Heimerdinger and everything. That's not so crazy. I've seen those plenty of times before. We're combining Heimerdinger with Freljord for two reasons. One, we get to use Entreat to be able to draw Heimerdinger, so that's that gives us basically more copies of Heimerdinger. And then Freljord also has very good protection spells, Elixir of Iron, Bloodsworn Pledge, Fury of the North. We got good ways to protect Heimerdinger. But we're going to be doing something else. So we have um, something else kind of crazy. So if you notice, we have a lot of four mana spells. The Bloodsworn Pledge, but then all the, like, Flash of Brilliance now being uh, four mana with Heimerdinger. And then Fury of the North, Gotcha, Static Shock. All good four mana spells. We got a whole bunch of them. So we're, we're probably going to be using Heimerdinger to make four mana Storm Lobbers, right? Like, we're going to be making the Storm Lobbers, the four one Overwhelms. And so since we're going to be making a bunch of Storm Lobbers, we want them to be even better. So we're going to be playing Iceborne Legacy for Storm Lobber. Grant, we're going to be granting Storm Lobber and all the other Storm Lobbers everywhere, plus two, plus two. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be using. So we can get six, three Overwhelms with our four mana turrets. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, once Heimerdinger levels up, which will level up very quickly, then there'll be seven, four turrets you know, with Overwhelm. Um, so it should be pretty sweet. Um, if only Iceborne Legacy cost four mana, right? That would be even better for this deck if Ice Iceborne Legacy cost four mana. Unfortunately, it costs five. Um, but yeah, so it should be pretty awesome. All right, let's go play some Heimer's Legacy. We're gonna go play it over in normal. See if we can get a whole bunch of Storm Lobbers. Um... <laughs> Twitch chat thinks that we're going to go one and four and flip our luck around. I don't think so. I think we're, you know, like we're making storm lobbers. Storm lobbers are four ones. Like that, that just shows that we're going to go four one, right? Like we're just going to go four one because that's, that's what we're making. Okay. So we're going to probably keep this whole hand. Well, maybe don't need the Kindly Tavern Keeper, but it's also just a fine card, I suppose. We'll just keep this hand. Um, <laughs> it rolled a Magic 8-Ball. Will we go 4-1? Magic 8-Ball says, Outlook not so good. Will we go 1-4? Magic 8-Ball says, yes. Oh no. Nothing escapes my watch. So according to the Magic 8 Ball, we're gonna be going one four. Say your farewells. I'm the village. Two mana gotcha. All right, let's just go put Heimerdinger in our hand. I could see them playing Ezreal now. Like, they're probably thinking, should I play Ezreal? And... Oh, wow. Pick a card this early? Wow. All right, well, I'm just not going to play anything this turn, right? Yeah. I don't think I play anything, because... So then if they just, because like their deck, if they just pick a card, a bunch of removal spells, they're just going to have to throw them out at, at me or they're just going to get, you know, they're, they're fleeting. They're just going to go. Got me good. Well, that's, that was a good card to hit. The urchin gets rid of another fleeting card. Let's see, if I play this, I save one mana. Next turn, I have five plus one. So obviously I'm not playing Heimerdinger yet. And then the turn after we would have, actually we'd probably we'd have enough mana the turn after. 
See, yeah, a Kordak with that quote thing, if I ever say any quotes that you want to add, you, you just type exclamation point, add quote, and then type the quote afterwards, and it'll, you know, then it'll be whatever quote that you, you can have on there that people will be able to see later and have fun with that. I guess I want to kill that black market merchant and not allow them to reduce the cost of other things they steal. Let's talk about your tech. Son of a Okay, Heimerdinger time. Oh, the sweet smell of science. Oh wait, this isn't gonna work as well as I thought. This is my first time playing, like, Flash of Brilliance, Heimerdinger actually getting up. We don't get to Flash of Brilliance and then still have four mana and then Fury or Pledge. That's not how this works. Cool, they just end round? Thank you. Just, they just want to waste nine mana? That sounds good to me. I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be purchasing a new cord for the mic. That's the only thing that I can think of, of maybe why the sound at times is off. I don't really have any good answers for that. True Shot Barrage could be nice. I could see them, like, wanting to use, like, Twisted Fate Red Card, Make a Rain, like, that kind of stuff. Kill a bunch of one health things. That's why Blood Swarm Pledge is pretty nice. Make those not die to Twisted Fate Red Card. We'll have leveled up Heimerdinger. This is pretty crazy, though. Heimerdinger's back. The Storm Lavas. Um, do I just want to cast Zero Mana Thermogenic Beam? Yes, I do. And create a 1-2 Challenger. I attack with Heimer. I have a new method to evaluate. Yeah, why not? Hey, say moi. Y'all don't like the Heimer attack, huh? Do you? It'll be fine. We have harsh winds. We have gotcha. We got things. I think they're like usually that kind of deck wants to play Riptide Rex this turn, and so I do like pressuring them a whole lot and like 
basically making, you know, like they're going to have to be spending some mana not playing Riptide Rex this turn. Oh, they burned a, a Rex with the uh, with the pick a card. Oh wow, are they are they mad? They seem kind of mad. They just didn't block. They just went AFK. Oh, playing the three two, they discarded a Rex. I gotcha. Okay. Well, we'll take our eighteen. And we'll take our W. Well, the eight ball said, that, yeah, Magic Eight Ball said we we're going one and four. Well, we're already one and oh. We got the one down. Storm Lobber. That's the new floor be gone. Calculated. Calculated. Okay, Heimer's Legacy. One and oh. Championless Undying. Could be pretty tricky. Usually that deck has a little bit less removal, and maybe that will be good. A little bit less removal for Heimerdinger. Yeah, Link, guys. Um, the Card Factory, there's there's a link to all the decks, right? You can go there, you can click on it, you can find the Card, card Factory deck. Uh, basically, it's just a deck with tons of card advantage. Like, all the units get to make other units and stuff like that. Got some crazy games. With the Card Factory deck, we got we got an 11 for 1 Judgment. For those of y'all that missed that, that deck. We played a Judgment that was an 11 for 1. And I think, I think that that's the record. I don't think that there's ever been a card that's ever been anything better than an 11 for 1 ever cast. I think we got the record. Because it, the Judgment killed five of their units in combat. So that's five for one. But it, we used the the Chevalier that whenever it strikes, you, you create a, um, a challenger. So we also so we also created six things because it struck six times and it killed five things. So we and we didn't have that many cards in hand, so we were able to draw all of them. So we we actually got an eleven for one judgment, and I. I have to imagine that that's the record. Uh, that's kind of a problem. If I play Harsh Winds next turn, I'll, I will only have Heimer with three mana, so we won't be able to do Heimer stuff. I guess it's kind of like play Heimer and untap with Heimer anyway, though. I don't want a harsh winds. Dude, everybody plays on guard and normal. It is crazy. Everyone's playing on guard. Um... Hmm. 
Oh, I should have just played Heimerdinger. I forgot I could play Heimerdinger this turn. I don't know why I was thinking I had to wait till next turn. What am I doing? I should have just played Heimerdinger. What seems to be the problem? I should have played that last turn. Is everybody doing it to complete the quest? The challenger quest? Maybe. We played against two Poro decks that were splashing on guard. And now the Undying deck splashing on guard. Uh, yeah, if I would have just had Heimerdinger last turn, I would have been able to protect Heimerdinger. I was hoping they would use one of the Undyings with the single combat so that we would be able to save Heimer with Elixir of Iron, but that didn't happen. Not gonna be easy. I'm glad they used another one of those, so hopefully they don't. I think I'm gonna just go grab Heimerdinger and play Heimerdinger here and just hope we get to untap and they don't kill it. Answers. I have them. Okay, we're one and one. Yeah, the Iceborne Legacy is for the four mana turrets. Yep. I think that could have been different if... Whoops. Wrong one. If I would... On turn five, when they're tapped out after the On Guard, if I would have played the Heimerdinger... Then I would have had Harsh Winds to protect against single combat. Maybe it could have been a little different, because then I would have had Harsh Winds and would have had um, the Elixir of Iron and stuff too. Okay, this looks like all in Fiora. So we got all in Heimerdinger versus all in Fiora. Be an interesting one. Gonna see a lot of passing in this game. If y'all are fans of racing, I was trying to think of something with a lot of passing. By my honor, you must die. I see a lot of passing. Without worry. Okay. Keep them honest. Keeping them honest. I will cut you down. Like we can take three for a long time. I'm not worried about three damage. 
it would be if they do have standalone and start doing more than more damage than that, then we'd have to start getting worried. Um, I guess we just have so many high redeemers. I guess we'll just throw one out here. A little early. For the glory. Oh, okay. Not just. Not only Fiora. Quickly, strike death right Yeah, so nine mana, so I get to I do get to play Flash of Brilliance, Static Shock, and Fury of the North. I get to play all of these with nine mana. If they go barrier, we get static shock to take out the barrier. Uh, another Fury of the North. So that means I'm going Elixir of Iron. play the wrench bot. If only Fiora see me down. Wrench bot just seems to give them like a really good Fiora target, so I don't think I do. Obviously they have Heimerdinger right now, which is a really good Fiora target anyway. So maybe I should. Um... Just like discard these centuries, the Omen Hawk, the maybe even the entry, just get get some stuff out of my hands. And I'm not gonna attack and fight over all of the mana that they have available. Let them eat souls. Oh God. You will remember this lucky you hardly fair. Eleven mana. Hmm. What do I want to do with eleven mana? Order, entropy, a never-ending cycle. I think I want to do. Oh, I. Had... 10 mana. Oh, wait, 10 mana.
ballistics? More entreats. Gosh, I have too many cards in hand. Can't play Flash of Brilliance because that just generates two cards. And I only have room for one. Guess I gotta play these Averroes and Sentries, even though I don't want to in the slightest. Chevalier created this card? Man, that Chevalier is pretty sweet. Yeah, War Mother's Call will just create a T-Hex. Um, anything that's 8 mana or plus creates the T-Hex. These old eyes still see far and clear. Don't like playing that thing. Fight all enemies. And then what make a barrier? Why is the seven mana want a barrier? This will be an eight two barrier at least. See how use useful this is. I want to keep drawing like the four mana spells, or just keep drawing spells. Like we, like that flash. You know, drawing a flash of brilliance is good. That's why I want to keep drawing. Do not want to draw any units. Like you know, these sentries, tavern keepers, all that kind of stuff. Do not want at all. Um. A field crystal structures of unparalleled rigidity. For the homestead. Bright Seal Formation makes this incredibly difficult. Not a card I was expecting, but yeah, that makes this game incredibly difficult. Um, 
Four one dream is dead. One and two now. Hey Kimonito. Um Yeah, that was That was pretty impressive with the those you know, those are some game breaking spells. Bright Seal Formation, Judgment. It's good having those kind of cards in your deck. Um, yeah, like they, they win games. That's what they do. I like drawing that gotcha right here. Maybe we get some good use out of it. My friend and Highway I man. Coal collectors. Nope, never mind. Do not get good use out of it. Cool. Gotta be worried about the elusives. I'm not too worried about the highwaymen. Just a little one twos. Just act natural. I got you. I don't have too many Heimerdingers right now. This would be a great hand against like a control deck, like where um, we have like the Entreat, Entreat, Heimerdinger. Welcome to the Tipsy Basically, one mana would be wasted if I don't play that. You gotta ask yes or no questions to the eight ball. The dark beckons. Alright, that man is getting wasted anyway. Hopefully we get to just play Heimerdinger right, you know, like this turn and don't have to worry about it dying. And we can play the gotchas like after the Heimerdinger. That would be, that would be ideal. Um, it's basically like how much pressure they put on us like in the air with the elusives of like if we can take however much damage they can deal or not. I, I guess I'm not too worried about Heimerdinger dying with us having Elixir of Iron and another Heimerdinger. Alright, that's not the scariest card to see. You know, if they're just gonna replay Shadow Assassin, draw another card, that's not very scary. They picked the wrong row. Scares to be if they like just suddenly played like a Zed or something. Even if they just played a Zed, I would just I could cast in tree to get a, another blocker. You could take four damage. Yeah, William. Um. Okay. Still trade even on mana, five for five. Order, entropy, a never-ending cycle. It's crazy. Will of Ionia like doesn't even you know, like doesn't even help out on mana even like just. That's pretty rough. All right, so I will pass the turn. We get to have a lot more mana with Heimerdinger. Yes, please. Instead of just play like one spell and then they bounce Heimerdinger again or something. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face.
I should probably have just let the Static Shock resolve and get my free tour one, and then go from there, probably. That was a little greedy, because then if they go Will of Ionia in response to that, then I don't get any four ones. Hopefully we draw like an Iceborne Legacy. And we get to... Um, get to really pump up these four ones. We see things as they truly are. A machine for sports ball. Why does it make that noise? Lightly, strike hard. When you go, I guess that's like the fleeting noise, right? I don't like that fleeting noise. Yeah, I don't like that fleeting noise. Unacceptable advancement in ballistics. Oh come on. We got to we got to try it. We got to try it. This is not the best play. We just have to try it though, right? Yeah, we got to we got to go for it. No. I don't really care if things die because I need extra room. As fate wills. So I could play. Actually, maybe I should have done this pre-combat. But I guess I didn't think about this. But I was just gonna save this two mana. But I could just play entreat because then if I play entreat, that's twelve and Heimerdinger levels up. Um, and then heck, I could have attacked with a level up Heimerdinger too. Um, otherwise, we're looking at 11 mana next turn. Maybe I just not do that. Gotta be worried about all these elusives now. Gotta try to stabilize. That was not the best play. <laughs> that Iceborne Legacy. It would have been better for me to just keep you know, adding on to the board and things like that. Up the Shadow Assassin. We're going to take four from Shadow Assassin. Play the gotcha on the three two. I think we have harsh winds in here, right? Pretty sure we have harsh winds in this deck. Yeah, harsh winds could. Yeah, we got a couple of those that could. Harsh winds would, is that is our best draw because that that gets us the elusive turret and also saves a lot of life as well. It's not bad. Hmm. 
I want to play Progress Day, but if I play Progress Day, then we have to have the five mana for Thermogenic Beam, and then Elixir of Iron doesn't do anything. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna just play it. Whoa. Super Mega T Hex. My friend and I are soul collectors. We get quick attack. Always a way out. Those who design an evil's rapid projectile firing. Silent as death. How about another round? Honestly, I could I could just attack with the Heimerdinger. It's a two four. They could use twin disciplines to kill it, but I should just, just be attacking with it. Public. Times are tough. You cannot escape. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't play the jewel protector here for a blocker instead of the shadow assassin. Stay alive from Windfair Hatchling with Tavern Keeper healing three. Windfair Hatchling would be four, six, eight. It would be eight power and then nine, ten, eleven. So we, if it's just Hatchling and nothing else, we go to one. No hatchling, no hatchling. Let me double static shock. I don't know. They're doing the Swain emote. I'll do it back. That emote's so silly. Gain the life. Everything's better with company. Says you. I think we're okay. Oh, I have the Fiora emote down here. Yeah, I guess I gotta be using that. Okay, looks like the Magic 8 Ball is wrong. We're not going 1 and 4. Not today. We're going to be... Uh, we're going to be working towards... Either the 3-2 or the 2-3. Trying to get that 3-2 for that winning record. And have Maul be winning records today. <laughs> Alright, playing against Mono Shadow Isles. Macaron Callista. That was one of our losses earlier was a very heavy Shadow Isles deck.
but they also had it they had key demacia cards the 5-4 challenger the on guard the double single combat the demacia cards they had were very These important still see far and clear Lilies? where are you Don't need to bring out the spider. Oh. This is bad. That probably means Callista, and I don't have anything to stop Callista. So this is probably bad. Hey, Dirk Snow. GG's. Yeah, it didn't didn't have that hatch. Yeah, the Windfair hatchling would have got us. Yeah, this is bad. Well, it saves more life to play this now. What would you have? Than wait because they don't get to attack in with Callista now. Uh. Okay, never mind. Let's They're attacking with Callista. Awesome. So now our Mystic Shot will be able to take down Callista. So that's good news. We'll just take four. I was super sad, Derek, when you had the the Will of Ionia for our Iceborne Legacy. We we're, we're trying to make you know, trying to do the Iceborne Legacy with the four mana turrets. That's what we got going on with this deck. Don't want them to be able to go like Chronicler of Ruin and reset that health. So got a Mystic Shot immediately. That's scary. Two, three, three, two fearsomes. Hey. Even more scary. That's nine damage. I mean, I can't do anything about it. Answers. I have them. We'll just play this. Hope they don't have removal. Oh we my gosh! And then another Callista. Man, talk about two awesome turns. Jeez. Dang. Yeah. I mean, is that just. That's twelve, seventeen damage. I mean, that's just lethal. I mean, I can't do anything about that. That's just seventeen fearsome. Turn four and turn five. Yep, two, three. Fight the signal fires. I didn't have anything in my hand to do to deal with that anyway. They just had all three mistrates in hand, right? Like they just they just drew all three of their mistrates. And yeah, had that. Crazy. Alright, so there we go. There's Heimer's legacy. Difficult to pull off the Iceborne Legacy on the 2-2s, but yeah, think if this was a 4-mana card, how awesome this would be if Iceborne Legacy also made one of those turrets and it was 4-mana to go along with all of these other things. That would be pretty sweet, but that's not how it is. Um, I liked how this deck played. It played pretty well. I think, I think Omen Hawk probably doesn't need to be in here. You could probably... Like this, yeah, this deck probably like just doesn't really seem like an Omen Hawk deck. Just doesn't seem necessary at all. I think that you could just play like um, another Thermogenic Beam. That card is pretty good. And um, what else? Maybe like some more, some more little def like little bit of defensive things. Maybe even like Starlet Seer. That could be better, I think, than Omen Hawk if you want to go that route. If you want some more units, um, but I could see playing like just like a couple like brittle steals in here you know like for like during the combat to help you out or a couple of frost you know a couple of frostbite cards that just help you out you know in the late game um with the attacking and blocking maybe even a couple avalanche if you're worried about um the aggro decks a bunch um could, could go avalanche obviously you don't really want that after your turrets but that could be something they could do um but yeah, basically the Omen Hawks didn't really look too necessary. Frostbite Archer is just fine. Yeah, it blocks just fine. Um, you know, it's not it's not anything I absolutely love. But yeah, it, it's 
fine. It's basically that. that, that that's kind of like the word that I got for that, that card. Um, I would probably go... The Harsh Winds was nice. We want a... I'd probably just go a couple brittle steels. Just to have some cheap things that just kind of help help you stabilize and stuff. Cheap spells are always good. I'll probably go a couple of those. Um, but yeah, but yeah, if you want to go uh Yeah, I mean Ice Fill Archer is good against Fearsome, and that's that's what you have on your mind, because that's what just happened was Fearsome. Um, but yeah, I'd probably go Thermogenic Beam and some Brittle Steels instead of the Omen Hawks. Uh, maybe that could help out a little bit. Or or one Brittle Steel, one... Why is this card... Why can I not find this card? Three mana. Flash Freeze, there it is. Or maybe one Brittle Steel, one Flash Freeze for the larger units. Um, you know, Flash Freeze also gives you that 3-1... The three one turret, which is definitely gonna be more useful than the one one turret the brittle seal gives you. And yeah, this this can be better against large creatures. So maybe maybe one brittle, one flash freeze. I just like how cheap brittle steel is. Um, I'll probably just start with the two brittle steels and kind of see how that goes. Alright, but there we go. So that was Heimer's Legacy. Fun deck there. Um Jolteon, thank you so much. Saying that I really enjoyed the stream today so far. Awesome. I'm glad you have. I've enjoyed the stream today too. This was a real fun stream. Meme Tier Monday, we could get to do some fun stuff. And this was a, this was definitely a good one. Lots of good decks today. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, feel free to leave some comments also about Heimerdinger and Iceborne Legacy. Um, and of course, any comments about like what do you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday? I'd like to... Uh, you'd see those suggestions as well but anyway thank you so much for watching hey harvey my dog came up here but anyway thank you so much for watching some heimer's legacy and i'll see you for the next video